Welcome to episode eight eighteen. Peter Buck, co-founder of Subway Sandwich, is an outline of episode eight eighteen. There are two reasons we study Peter Buck. First, at age thirty-five, he was the co-founder of Subway Sandwich, with an initial investment of one thousand dollars. Second, Subway Sandwich grew to become the largest fast food franchise in the world. I really didn't know how I was going to pay my way through college. As Fred says, not having had any better offer that day, he said, "Okay, let's open a submarine sandwich store." I found the little store. On that first day, we said we're rich, but we weren't. He was born in South Portland, Maine, in 1920. He earned a Bachelor of Science from Bowdoin College in 1952. Then he went on to Columbia University and earned a Master and PhD in Physics. At age 35, Peter Buck was the nuclear physicist making the big bucks when he came up with the idea of a peat submarine. And Fred is now graduating high school and planning to go to medical school. So- Open a submarine sandwich shop. Just like that. Just like that. I said, "Oh, that's interesting. How does it work?" Actually, not too complicated. What you do is you rent a little store, then you build a counter, then you buy some food, and you open for business. And customers come in and put money on your counter in exchange for sandwiches, and it should work out just fine. But to a kid who's 17 years old, I decided to give Fred a $1,000 loan to start a sandwich shop to earn money for college. So Fred, and that day. We made a plan for what、uh, we were going to call Pete's submarine sandwiches, and we actually made an entire plan.、Uh, we decided that we were going to open up 32 stores in 10 years. This was on the same day that you just oh, had this, this conversation. Is, yes, this、so、is why all. Why the number 32? Why why 32?、Yeah. Well, why 32? Well, both of us knew of a sandwich shop company in upstate New York called Mike's Submarine Sandwiches. And Mike had started out about ten years prior, and built up this nice chain, and he had thirty-two stores. After three years, in 1968, the name Pete Submarine was changed to Subway. They had to endure eight years without profit, but Peter Bucks always sees they are going to become rich. First day, we we sold all 312 breads that we had. We sat down on the sidewalk and said, "Hey, we're rich, but we weren't." We have Peter Buck in Subway doing part-time planning and advisory role, while Frank DeLuca was working hard to sell billions of Subway sandwiches to weight-conscious Americans. And of course, the famous Subway Eat Fresh. By 2010, Subway has become the world's largest fast food franchise, bigger than McDonald's, with locations in 80 plus countries. 2015, Fred DeLuca died of cancer. He was 67. Subway's co-founder, Dr. Peter Buck, says the sandwich company needs to open new sub chains. Since 2013, the store's sales have dropped 13%. And the company is trying to turn those numbers around with new store designs and technological innovations. Now, what does he do for hobby or interest? Peter Bug is now the seventh largest land owner in the United States. He owns more than one million acres, and he owns farmland in Alabama to Timberland in Maine. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. My next video will be Peter Buck Eight Lessons. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.